Now, most people do not understand the Illuminati. How many people here have ever done any study on the Illuminati before they heard of me? Okay. How many have done some since they've heard my tapes? A couple, okay. Boy, are the rest of you in for a surprise tonight. I don't want people to listen to me and walk out of here and just accept the things I have. I kind of like it when people go out of here and say, boy, he's nuts. Because they'll go and they'll try and research to prove that I'm wrong. And the more they research, the more they start believing me. It is impossible to research history and to research the conspiracy and to research the Illuminati without coming away a solid believer. As a, the brother who prepared these, Brother Tom Berry said, he went to, through almost 2,000 books for 20 sheets of notebook paper filled with notes. That's how well it was hidden. How many people have a set of encyclopedias at home, a good set? So home tonight, look up the word Illuminati. In some of the encyclopedias, you will find that it existed but does not exist now. And in other encyclopedias, you will find that it existed and still exists now. But they don't tell you anything about it. Before we go into it, I want to give you a reading list, okay? Now, I want to explain a book before I give its title, and I want you to choose carefully as to whether you want it or not. I don't want you later getting mad at me because I recommended it. It is not a Christian book. It is not a political book. It is an Illuminatus book. The book was ordered, written, and produced by Philip Rothschild, the leader of the Illuminati in this day and age. It was ordered, written by a woman named Ann Rad, and she was at that time one of Philip Rothschild's mistresses. It was written some 12 years ago. She was already a well-known author, and her books sell nationwide. Most of the people who read them are communists. And she wrote this book. It was supposed to be a novel. It's 1,100 pages, so if you don't like to read, don't buy it. And it was written as a novel, supposedly, but it is a code book. And within the book is a step-by-step -step plan to take over the whole world by taking over the United States. Now, I'm going to say many things tonight that a lot of people will try and go out of here and say that I'm anti-American. No, I'm extremely pro-American. I couldn't be that until I became a Christian. But I'm extremely pro-American. I am just anti-government that exists within America today because it is not the government of the people any longer. And I'm pro-people government. That's a term misused by communists a lot. I'm sorry if you're upset that I use, but that's exactly what it says in the Constitution. Oh, this is what I've been waiting on. I'm glad he brings it. I know what's in it. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Now, the power of the Illuminati, and I'll give an explanation. The Illuminati is as following. Okay, first, most people have found the Illuminati in things that have crossed their path. People have found it in the occult, and mistakenly they have said, aha, the Illuminati is the occult. Then they have found it in the Masons, and they said, aha, the Illuminati is the Masons. Then they have found it in politics. They said, oh, it's politics. So they found it in the international banking system. Or they found it in Zionism. So they list it as just being that. Actually, it is all these things and much more. They have found it in the Mormon religion. That's because the leaders of the Mormon religion are high echelons in the Illuminati. They have found it in the John Birch Society. That's because the man who leads the John Birch Society is both a high degree Mason and a Mormon. But it is all these things and it's par is finance. If you would take its finance away, which is impossible. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you the name of the book and I just realized that. I started out. I'm getting ahead of myself. The book is called Atlas Shrug. Oh, Atlas, you know, Atlas supposed to hold up the world? Shrug, like you shrug your shoulders. Atlas Shrug. Now, this is the warning that goes with it. I'll be talking about occult books tonight and how demons are in occult books and in their music and so on. This isn't so with this book. They didn't place a spell on this book because they did not want people to buy this book other than those told to buy it within the occult and within the Illuminati. They are extremely mad because just this year alone they sold several million of them, mostly to Christians, and they don't like that. In fact, they've tried to stop printing it, the people don't want to stop printing it, they're making so much money. The bad thing about it, though, is that since it is written as a novel, it has some passages that uh, I think might belong in Hustler or other places. Maybe out of 1,100 pages you might count five that are this way, you can tear them out and throw them away. They're just stuck in there to hope. They're stuck in there on purpose to keep Christians from reading the book. So if you should get to a passage that uh, is a little something you shouldn't read, just turn to the next page, it'll be over by then, and you can go on with the story. Now, if you don't like to read, skip the first 200 pages. The first 200 pages is exactly the way most people in the world are. They're very boring. 
No, actually, they're the conspiracy from people in all the walks of life talking about this incident happening and that incident happening. And, and uh, you know, it's very boring to the fact that lets you know that it's the conspiracy that's planning the incident. It's like reading the newspaper today. You don't really know what's happening behind it. But after about the first 200 pages, eight chapters, nine chapters, something like that, it starts showing you that everything that is happening is conspired to happen. And uh, I'm going to give all these things, and I want to say something before I give the rest of the reading list. The common name for the Illuminati is the conspiracy, or the great conspiracy. Now, until we lost the school system to people within the Communist Party and within the organization of the Illuminati and so on, you were taught in your history classes, and some people can remember this if they want to confess up to being that old, that history was taught that it happened because somebody conspired for it to happen. Then we didn't want in this nation anybody to get ideas that maybe our government was a conspiracy. <clears throat> so they uh, decided to start teaching that it just happened because it happened. You know, World War II happened just because some people got mad. World War One happened because some people got mad. The Depression happened because uh, we bought too much too soon without enough money. They did not want anybody to get the idea that it all happened because somebody conspired for it to happen. But I hope to accomplish one thing tonight more than anything, that I will change your attitude, that I'll set new forms or patterns or whatever in your life, that you will walk out of here and when something happens, you'll go, now I wonder what they're really up to. Really? Okay? And we'll be talking about a few things tonight. I want to start with the yellow sheet. Now, there's something missing on the yellow sheet. I want you to draw a block. No, don't draw a block. I'm sorry. Under the First National Bank, write Federal Reserve Act, or the Federal Reserve Commission, FRC, FRA, whichever way you want to write it. You can abbreviate it or whatever you want to do. All right. Now, if you'll look at the pyramids, let's start with the one that says organization. Now, there's no way to preach a sermon when you're giving a teaching like this. I'm going to play school teacher tonight. If some of you find it boring, you happened in the wrong meeting because you might as well think that you're back in high school or going to college or whatever because that's about what it's going to be like tonight. I'm going to give a lot of facts. I'm going to try and leave enough time that we can have some questions because there's no way I can say all I'm going to say tonight without leaving some people in confusion. Pastor disappeared. Here he is. Did you turn that air conditioner on? It's hot in no, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> Can't put this many people in a building like this without starting something. Okay. Start with the one that says organization. And if you'll notice on all the pyramids, the first three blocks are exactly the same. Now if you've heard my testimony, you know that I came from the Council of Thirteen. Now I want to stop, take about three minutes to explain the doctrine of the high part of the occult. The first, the last four levels of the occult, or the last three levels of the occult, the fourth, fifth, and sixth level, and most of the modern cults today, particularly Mormonism, believe the same thing. How many people ever saw a movie called The Dunwich Whore? Nobody ever saw that movie. A couple people saw it. Okay. And I think uh, Sandra D was the star of it or something. Okay. That was probably one of the strongest movies truthful about witchcraft and their beliefs that ever existed. Now, there was the original occult Bible, witchcraft Bible, was called the Necromonicon. There's only three copies in existence today. One is in the town, in, in St. Petersburg Cathedral in the USSR. One is in New York City. No, I'm sorry. One is in Glasgow, and one is in London. I saw when it was on, the one from the London Museum was in New York for a while. I got to hold it and look at it, so I went up in the occult. Now, from that, the Book of Shadows, the occult Bible, came into existence. Several books have been written from the Necromonicon and are in many Christians' hands today, which we hope that will burn before it's over. Now, according to the Necromonicon, the beginning of the world happened that man or mortals. You watch the.